Hey guys, welcome to my video. I'm Kelly and I'm going to show you how to take your old 2009 27 inch Mac and turn it into an external display for your 2018 MacBook Pro. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is purchase this mini display port to USB-C cable. I got a link to it below uh, through Amazon. It's about 15 bucks. You probably could find a cheaper one as well. I just chose this one because it had pretty good reviews and it was a sponsored Amazon uh, listing. So once you have this cable, here's what you're going to do. You're going to plug it into the back side of your 27 inch Mac. Let's show you how to do that now. So on the back of your 27 inch monitor, these are the connections you're going to have. I do not know on the 2009 what the 21 inch looked like. So please do your research before purchasing this particular cable. But on the 2009 model, you're going to have this port right here. And this is the mini display port. And this cable that I bought fits right into it. Just like that. Kind of hard to do with one hand, apologize. But it fits in there like that. And then we're going to connect the other end into our MacBook. Okay, so once you have your mini display port plugged into the back of the 27 inch iMac, go ahead and turn that on. Don't log in though. So once you're on the login screen, go ahead and turn on your laptop. And once that is fully started, you do need to be logged in for that. Take the USB-C end of the cord, plug that straight into the laptop. Just like that, you're gonna see the screen flicker. You don't need to touch anything else. Give it just a second, it'll pop up. And then you can drag whatever you want on over there. And then you have two displays. So here's my second display. And we can move things around. Be on both screens. Um, the toolbar, you'll see it moved over to the 27 inch if you want to put it back on your other computer, just move back over there and kind of hover at the bottom of the screen or wherever you have your toolbar at. It'll take a few minutes, but it will it will pop back up down there. There you go. See, maybe about a minute, not a few. So that's it. It literally is that easy. And when you are ready to disconnect, all you have to do is literally pull back out that USB-C and you're disconnected. Some of the informational things I watched, uh, you had to go through this long process and make sure you had a legit Apple keyboard and stuff. All I did was use the mini display port, like I said, and connected that straight to the USB-C plug and play it instantly turned on I've never done anything else um, it works really good um, a couple of maybe negatives why you might not want to do this uh, the old 27 inch computers are much louder than the new ones the fan is a little bit louder so if you're like me and you're trying to do um, voiceover of video editing you'll have to have that computer turned off because it's just too noisy in the background. My iMac will get really hot uh, after a very short period of time. So obviously you're using more energy than one of the new monitors, but you're also not having to make that commitment of a two to $300 or more monitor. Um, simple fix, very easy way to do it, very inexpensive, again, for sure less than 20 bucks. Like I said, I got the cable for 15. Again, that link is below. If you wanna check that out on Amazon, if you already have one, fantastic. Give that a shot. The All the information and model numbers for the computers I'm using is below. Uh, the 27 inch iMac again is a 2009 model and the MacBook Pro is a late 2018 model. Um, 
I'm not sure what range of models this will work on. Maybe do a little research. Um, but as long as it's got the mini display port, I think you should be fine. I know once they went into, I believe, the 2012 IMAX, things were constructed differently in the back of those. So those are probably going to be either your HDMI cable mini, probably, and then, or something else. I'm not sure. I have not owned one of those. I have... I bought this baby new and it has been great but now as you know it can no longer be updated so it's just it just sits here and personally it's more of a hassle to prep it to sell it and to get it to somebody than what I'm going to get out of it. So I found a different use for it. I hope this video has been helpful. If you like it please give it a thumbs up. You'll probably also notice that this is the very first video on this particular account. I have another YouTube channel, RV Travel Blog. If you're interested in RV travel or traveling, just check out that channel. I'll be adding other things to this channel, so please go ahead and click that subscribe button and click that bell and you'll be notified when I have more videos. If this video has been helpful, please leave me a comment uh, down below that it helped you, and I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!